everyone, welcome to another Stamp Affair tutorial. Today we're going to make some quick and easy cards for a fun little handmade card set. We're going to go ahead and start with some plain white cardstock, and this card base measures four and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I've gone ahead and rounded the bottom ends so that it just kind of gives it a nice finished look. Then you'll use your fillable frames, number 10 die, and sweet symphony paper, and cut a die that we'll use for our focal point. You'll also need to cut a 5 inch, a five inch strip of soft stone grow grain ribbon. And what we'll do with this is trim the edges into a double end by folding it away from you and then trimming and repeating on the second side. Fold it away and then trim. Okay, that's actually going to be our first step. I use uh, liquid glue for my fabric, my ribbon, my buttons, just about everything. So I'm just going to lightly add a strip of glue across the upper portion and glue down my ribbon. Apply glue to the back of my die cut and directly apply that over the center of the ribbon. Okay, um, then I've used my notched flower die and distress dots paper and I've cut a small flower and then I've used the Beautiful Blooms 2 number 1 die and my Distress Dots paper to cut a small flower as well. And those are just going to go in the lower corner. Either corner will work. So we'll go ahead and glue those down. I like to kind of bend up the petals a little bit to add some dimension. And then glue those down. <clears throat> then I've chosen to use some Raspberry Fizz ink on this card just to mix up the colors a little bit. I love the fresh and fruity feel of these colors mixed together. And I've chosen the fillable frames number 10, oh, excuse me, number 11 stamp set for my sentiment. Ink that up really good. And just stamp your sentiment to the left of your flowers. And there you've got your sentiment. I love the, the sweet uh, sayings in these that Heather's come up with. They're just perfect. Okay, then what we'll do is go ahead and apply the button to the center. I've used Raspberry Fizz. Once again, just to bring in some fresh, fun colors. And then I've used some Simply Chartreuse Felt and my Sending You Dye to cut some leaves so that we can make some fun little posies out of these flowers. For the larger leaf, what I like to do is fold it in half, apply some glue to the seam, and then just fold it and press down for a minute. And you'll, you'll notice I do this backwards, and I don't know why. I always like to put my leaves in last for some reason, just because I, I, like, to, I like to get their placement just right. So I've got those folded and I use the point of my scissors just to kind of shove it down in there and get it exactly how I want it so it looks like it belongs okay and then I've got the small leaf cut from the Simply Chartreuse Felt I'm going to cut that almost in half because I don't need a large leaf under here and I'm just going to adhere that small half leaf on the opposite side of the larger leaves so that our colors kind of flow from the top to the bottom. And there you've got your fun card set. 
all you've got to do to mix it up is to change your Sweet Symphony paper, change your Distress Dots paper, change your ink color, and change your button color. And you can make five or six cards that tie in beautifully together. Okay, to finish up our fun, quick and easy card set, we're going to embellish a clear box that we can fill with envelopes and our handmade cards. I've cut a two and a quarter inch strip of Distress Dots paper. I've cut it to fit down the length of the box and I've trimmed the end into a double end. I've cut another strip of five inch, a five inch strip of soft stone grosgrain. I've trimmed that end into a double V or a double end. And then I've attached it to the center of that strip. I used my Sweet Symphony paper once again and the Fillable Frames number 10 die. I'm going to adhere that right to the center of our strip. And then I've just used the same dies that we used on our card set. Notched Flowers, Beautiful Blooms 2 number 1, and Sending You. And our Sweet Symphony paper, Distress Dots, and some Simply Chartreuse Felt. I'm going to layer those together, make them nice and dimensional, and top them with a hibiscus burst button, um, excuse me, a Hawaiian Shores button, and that tops it off. It ties our colors in together, and our card set is ready to present to a friend. Hope you have fun. Thanks so much for stopping by.